Hi, I'm Strab, and I will show you some modeling tips that I think were useful during the creation of the Iron Baby. The modeling was the most time-consuming task. It took me almost four weeks to complete. Each piece had to be highly detailed in order to catch highlights in a realistic way and to also create enough occlusion in the concavities. Someone who was trying to model his own Iron Man sent me this picture asking me if I knew any trick to avoid drilled holes to deform the surrounding surface. I'll show you how I do it. Let's say I want to drill a hole in the middle of the mask. What I want to do is to create a loop in order to have a clean border once subdivided. I create this loop by using inset two times on the whole region. I select that loop with the loop selection tool and then I can use those wonderful loop tools. I just have to press the circle button and my loop becomes a perfect circle. So I can then select this circle and extrude it inward. You can notice my circle is not so perfectly circled because the shape was rectangular, so I have to adjust it a bit. I can then go on and select my border to create some chamfer. For that, I can use the chamfer tool. And uh, beware when using the chamfer tool, because if you don't have uh, entire loops, the chamfer tool would create unwanted triangles. I will talk about that problem in the second modeling tip. Here we have entire loop, so we can use the chamfer tool without any problem. So here we are. My drilled hole is finished, and uh, we can see that if I add the turbo smooth, I still get a perfectly smooth, rounded surface, and I get a perfectly circular drilled hole. And if I remove the texture for a moment, we'll see that I get a very nice highlight on this detail. The next video will be a second modeling tip. It will be just a word on rounded edges or fillets on hard surface models.